，没差不多了，我吹鸡鸡不会。Hi, we're Stu and Andrew, a married couple, on our continuing year-long tour of the UK. No, 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 no. It's five months in. If you haven't seen the intro now, where have you been? Oh, I like the intro. Come on, we're five months in. So f five months in? We are five whole months in. We should do something special. <sighs> to say oh, thank you? I know what. Go on. I think we should do a giveaway. That sounds okay. Okay. What's going to be in this giveaway? <laughs> what do you think the giveaway should be, Stuart? <laughs> a mystery box. It's a mystery box because you can't think of anything <laughs> to put in it, can you? But it's a mystery box to them and it's a mystery box to me. Oh, I know what's coming next. I get to call shopping. Oh. Again. Again. Oh. That's what we'll do. A mystery box. I don't mind shopping as long as I'm not there. That's perfect. It's not going to be full of tap though, is it? No, 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 no. I do have a few things that we have bought along the way. Okay. This mystery box does not involve a sheep, does it, from no. Wales? No, 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 okay. no. But there is something from Wales. Is there? There is. And something from Scotland. Yeah. Something from England. Yeah. That and sounds like... There's a been. <laughs> this is a joke about that, isn't there? Oh, <laughs> An English Irishman. Irishman Scotland. No, no, no. But we will make sure that everything isn't... You're not just getting stuff from the pound shop. Not just from the pound shop. So there is some pound shop stuff in there. No, but it might have cost a pound. But there was heart and there was thought into it. You're not putting a frozen leg of lamb in there, are you? <gasps> from Wales. And a haggis. No. No, we can't send food. So, well, we've got uh, something little from Ireland. Uh, Ireland from Wales. Oh, been to Ireland. Not yet. Your phone said we've been to Ireland. It has. I can send them the text message. <laughs> <laughs> we've never actually managed to get to Ireland. <laughs> We will have something small from Wales. It's not a sheep then. It might be. No, we can't get a box big enough for a sheep. But it could be a stuffed sheep. Mm-hmm. A what? A stuffed one? Yeah. I like taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, Andrew. Yeah. It will have something small from Wales, something small from Scotland, something small from England, and a few other little luxury bits. Luxury? Luxury. No pound shop here, love. Does this mean I'm on beans on toast again for the week? It does. You can have a side salad. Ah. <laughs> More about the side salad later. Um, yeah, so we a giveaway, a mystery box, um, which I think what we'll do is we'll wait and see who wins and then we'll put a few bits in for the winner, knowing what Ooh, they like, maybe. I like that. Personalised. A bit of personalised, yeah. This budget's going up and up and up for personalised. Yeah, well, you, you've gone luxury, so I'm going personalised. <laughs> personalised luxury. <laughs> no, personalised <laughs> and luxury, not personalised luxury. Uh, yeah, can so, I win this box? <laughs> if you want. You can, you can enter, you'll get it all wrong. Um, the, all the details are at the end of this video, so they how are. to enter, terms and conditions, all that. Um, but you'll probably need to watch the video so you can answer the questions. One of the questions does have a question about the whole entire video. So watch it and keep your eyes out. Yeah, keep them peeled, as uh, somebody used to say. It is. Why don't we have a quick flashback and let's have a look at what we have been up to and what we have done over the last five months. So let's quickly flash to... Andrew, what's your favourite memory? Well, I think my fa I think my favourite day was was uh, in Wales when we went to see the dinosaurs and the caves and the stone circle. It was just such a good day out. It was. I have to say, if you were going to go for a day out for value for money, we, that place still hasn't been beat. Like how cheap, well not cheap, yeah. reasonably priced it was for what you actually got. Like you got you you got a whole zoo near enough. You got well, thousands part. of dinosaurs. You had three caves. It was just yeah, it, and it was, was non all day out. It was non stop. That was the thing because you did the first cave, you came out. You did the next cave, you came out. You had a little trip to the next cave. You, then you did the dinosaur park. You did the farm park. It was just a good good day out. I it mean, I can, I can think of other days that I've enjoyed. I'd loved going down to the beach to see. Um, what was the beach that Rose said goodbye to the doctor? That that was a lovely day. Um, finding Dobby, that was another good day. Doctor Who at Leicester Space Centre, that was a great time. 
but I think the best day out we've had was was the yeah. See, for me, mine's Glastonbury. Mine would be my birthday week was a really really good week. Stonehenge has always been on my list of stuff I've always wanted to see. So that was obviously absolutely brilliant, and it was there on my actual birthday. Then straight after that, we went straight to Glastonbury, and Glastonbury was just. I think because so many people have already said that their opinions of it were a bit, mm, weren't we? And then when we actually got there, and you have a walking around, and it's all crystals and spiritual, and it was it was a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, but when have we ever listened to anybody else? We, Never. We always go and do our own thing, don't we, do. we? And make our own minds up. And I enjoy Glastonbury. I think because of its its history, which it's got, um, the quirky shops, the quirky people. It's just somewhere different to go. Because you go to so many towns, don't you? It's the same shops over and over and over, selling the same stuff, but Glastonbury was different. Very unique. It was a very, very unique, very unique place. Yeah. And I think if you haven't been, it would definitely be a suggested place. Yeah. But we do have some other funny stories, though. So, something that me and Andrew... But don't ask us how, because I have no idea. But we have managed to, everywhere we go whether it be a week before, a week after, or a couple of days after, miss a major event. Every time. Like, not even... I can. We can literally name about 30 or 40 times this has happened. But we do it every single time. We, go, we went to Glastonbury a week after Glastonbury. We went to Wales and we were... Obviously, we, did, you saw the whole of Wales. And never realised what was happening at Wales. Oh, we were parked up... Across the road. F five minutes away from Eisteddfod, which is... A big festival, well, it's the biggest festival in Wales. And we were like wondering why it was so busy, and it was like, yeah, it was just, just no, idea. Past it. no idea it was happening. We do it everywhere we've gone, there's been something either happening or it's already happened. We were parked up and completely missed the fact that a whale had been stranded outside the back of the van. By the time we got up the next morning, gone. We didn't know so, we knew about it because it came up on the news. It was like North Berwick, they've just had this poor whale had been washed ashore. Right at the back of our van. Where were me and Andrew? Fast asleep unaware. Mm. Okay, then, so you're not so favourite memory or scary place. Um, scary place? Well, yeah, there's, there's a, not many, but probably the scariest. When I was, I was actually shaking um, because I'm not very good with heights. It was, it was Wales uh, in the, the castle. Um, Conway Castle, because th th it was, it was just like three, four stories high, with with nothing to stop you falling off the ramparts, and it was like, for me, being scared of heights, it was just a, it was a no. Um, I was actually shaking. Really, really didn't enjoy that at all. Beautiful place, but yeah, not not. It wasn't it wasn't a horrible experience, but just yeah, it wasn't pleasant. I don't know what yours was. I don't know because you haven't asked me. No, but I know what it is without, without <laughs> even asking you because I know it was it was one of the scariest moments that we've gone through in the whole of our time. That was also in Wales, wasn't it, Stuart? It was. But yeah, I thought I was going to be right. And it was going down the hill. It had to have been... No, it was the most scariest time for me because I wasn't in control of the van. Andrew was driving. We had Andrew's parents with us. So, of course, you try and to make sure you're on your best behaviour anyway. All I wanted to do was scream and cry and f and blind, and I couldn't. All right, well, I did, but I didn't go like OTT, which is, uh, it was just, yeah, it was horrible. It was one of the worst days out of the whole five months because I just I freaked out completely. So we, we for the, if you've not seen the video, um, we managed, it, this was a week in. We'd only been traveling a week. So we managed to pick the second most steepest hill in Wales to descend down. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? But there's three hairpin bends on it. Yeah. And also the van was brand new, so we didn't know what a break was like, what the handbrake was going to be like, and we didn't know it was coming. It wasn't like we'd picked that route and thinking, well, we know we're going to have to go down this hill. It was a complete accident. We got to the top of this slow incline up to the top of this amazing view, then all of a sudden it was the biggest drop ever and it just looked and because you're high up anywhere you've got all this weight behind you yeah it, it yeah it wasn't the best yeah what what 
what Stuart didn't know, my mum and dad didn't know, was my foot was on the brake fully and we were still moving and that that was pretty scary. Anyway. But what was your funniest moment? The funniest <laughs> I think I think the funniest moment. It wasn't funny at the time. It was like I think people have picked up on it. Was was the side salad? Oh god! It was, it was not a side salad. I think I think if if we ask anybody that's watched our videos, what the funniest would say but, that, yeah. I, we've had more comments about the side salad thing. It was just me being in one of those silly moods, and it was just off the cuff, wasn't it? It was. I don't even know why you were recording, but. Yeah, and we, we, when you look back at it, and I, I, I still laugh when I see it because it's just me being silly. Um, it's, it's it's a running joke now. If we go anywhere and there's a little side salad, I'll, be like, I'll always point out and go, "See, that's a side salad, Andrew. Not a whole plate of side of salad." Well, we're in Wilco's, weren't we, the other day, and they they've got their sale on, and they've got some um, plastic plates, and they've actually got side salad plates. And I thought Stuart was going to buy me one um, just to say. This is the size of your salad, no bigger. But you didn't. So what was your funniest? Mine is actually a, <laughs> a behind the scenes moment that you won't know about, but I'm going to give you the story. So when we did Wales, back to Wales again, we did Mount Snowdon. Um, and we randomly, it wasn't a planned thing at all, but we managed to find this little park up at the side of Mount Snowdon where there was a big huge lake at the bottom which is the water that comes off Snowden. So Andrew, we, we decided, we'll film Andrew going for a bit of a dip. It was Baltic. Like I put my foot in it and I was like, there's no way I'm getting in that water. You've got no chance. So Andrew was like, right, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it for the, for the views, we'll do it. So off he poddled and I'm stood there, got a camera going and this and the other. And he come out the water and I looked at it before and I was like, it hasn't recorded. You're going to have to do it again. So we did it again. Call it be worse than whatever. And then when we got back, we realised I had actually recorded the first time. So we did it twice for no reason. It was absolutely so freezing, that water. I think oh, the, his face was a picture. Because it's at the bottom of the mountain and it's rocks and mountainous thing, it must just be colder, but it was absolutely <laughs> Baltic. And, and I'd, I'd looked at it when we arrived and I was like, oh my God, there's people swimming in in this lake, I need to do this, I love swimming. And then we, we got, as like Stuart said, we got his toes in and it was like, this is pretty cold. But once you once you were submerged, it was freezing cold. And when Stuart just said, you're gonna have to do it again, I, I yeah. I got called a few names. Yeah, we weren't the best of friends, were we? It was even funny when you realised I had already recorded it. <laughs> and that was actually, so we had two takes of it. That was funny. Oh dear. That was really, really funny. Yeah. Shall we tell them about the, about the competition still or shall we tell them what's coming up next for us we'll do what's coming up next let's, let's yeah. leave the competition yeah, to we'll a, bit to of a hang on for the competition just a bit longer so we do have some stuff in the pipe work um, some behind the scenes things we are attending the NAC motorhome and caravan show which is on the 17th 17th of October isn't it we're there yes. on the we're Monday, planning the to be Tuesday, there on the Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday and Wednesday so if anybody's at, uh, there come and say hello we'll have our shirts and things on so you'll recognise us we, we, we are going with Airtalk so you will, be, you will be able to find us head to Auto Trail I think yes. the owners club is going to be right next to the Auto Trail stand so um, hopefully they'll be all together and if you aren't there on the Tuesday or Wednesday when we are there, or, uh, the Owners Club are there the whole entire week, aren't they? Yeah. So there will be somebody there if you are interested in joining us. Yep. And hopefully, Auto Trail are going to be releasing some exciting... I think they are, because they've, they've, they're slowly sharing a few photo snaps here and there in a wee video. A couple of, a couple of quick videos have come out, haven't they, in the last they week? They have. Um, it is in our short teasing a new range for 2024 so uh, NEC could be quite exciting it um, could yeah what else do we have coming up we are off to a dog friendly bonfire night we are on a farm in Leicestershire somewhere we are yeah well it's an anim animal sanctuary isn't it yep it's it's going to be good because we've got our dogs obviously the dogs they don't like fireworks the older one Pixie is absolutely petrified them. She hides under the bed. She just, she just does not like them at all. So we were planning on going 
somewhere in the middle of nowhere, weren't we? And yeah. try and get out the road of it all. We don't want to be in a city where they're going to be going off. And then we saw a wee post for an iron sanctuary who have got a non-firework bonfire night. So they are having a bonfire, but there was no fireworks going on. There is a little disco and stuff, isn't there? Yeah, it sounds like fun. It sounds like a good weekend. It does. It's yeah. going to be. A, I think it's going to be a good weekend. So that's what we're doing for bonfire night. No idea what we're doing for Halloween yet, because we haven't decided. Nope, we haven't. Because that's a big thing for Stuart. Stuart loves Halloween. I do. So, not sure. And then... It's going to be Christmas markets and Christmassy stuff, isn't it? It is. In December. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we can get to a couple of estates and yeah. because we used to we used to go to one up in North Yorkshire, didn't we? And that was beautiful at Christmas. They used to yeah. do the whole thing out. So we're going to have a good look around. If anybody has any suggestions yep. of estates or events that are worth a, a look at, yeah, for Halloween or Christmas, yes. Yep. Give us a comment down below, let us know where you think, and we'll have a look. And if it's not too far, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll go and have a look, won't we? And then, that's it. It's winter. It's curl up with a blanket and <laughs> a hot chocolate. <laughs> and deck the van out. We've got the Halloween uh, stuff to go up yet, yeah, and then we can get the Christmas stuff up. We're, we're going to look forward to actually decorating the van. We are, because it's for always Halloween. Nice we've, got some, we've got some ideas for Halloween and uh, the Christmas is just a wee camp as anything isn't it really yes. let's face it uh, it's Christmas Christmas in the van it is can't wait so let's get to this competition go on then so we're giving away a mystery, mystery box. box this is not going to be full of tat it's going to be a decent mystery box it is we're going to tailor it we're going to wait and see who wins um, part of it and then part of the box we will we'll tailor to whoever wins it. So if it's a male, yeah, we don't, we, yeah. female, young, old, young, older, yeah. yeah, van van person, is, non van person. Say, there is certain things in there that we've actually collected on our travels. But yes, so the T's and C's of it all. You have to be a subscriber of the channel. You also need to follow the link below. There will be is the three. There is three questions you have to answer. Which we're going to give you in this video, so stay tuned. You also, there is a, a little form you have to fill out. We do need an email address to contact the winner. We will be paying for everything. So we are not asking for any money whatsoever. We don't want a single penny. We will pay for the postage. Everything that's in the boxes all, will all be paid for. Yep. So if anybody contacts you saying that they want anything off you pretending to be us. It is not us. We will never ask for any money off anybody. That is not how it works whatsoever. I'm just putting that out there because I know a few people have been scammed before. Yeah. So, to the questions, the important bit. Uh, Stuart, what is question one? So I hope you have been keeping your eyes peeled. So throughout this whole entire video, we've been showing clips. In those clips, they will have a Vandra. And in case you don't know who is, it is our van. But, question one, how many times did you see a Vandra throughout this video? Question number two, uh, we took a little break in the summer to go and watch a very famous singer. Who was it? And question three, <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask me, not just sit there giggling. <laughs> And what's question number three, Stuart? Do you not realise that was coming after two? You've got to look, haven't you? Um, and the last question, Stuart. Question three is, name one of our doggies. So that we do have three of them. They have appeared in every single video and in that silly, silly title right at the beginning. Those are the three questions. That's, that's all, that's them. it. So if you've been following our videos, you'll know them. If not, go back, have a quick flick you will find the answers. They're easy to find, really, really easy. You don't have to watch hours and hours of video. You, seconds, you'll find all three answers if you don't you know them already. You will. Good luck. Um, the competition and all the information and everything that you'll need to know will all be below. So it is very, very simple. Just click the link, head over, put in your bits of information that we need to find a winner because it will be drawn live. Yes, that's important. We're drawing it live in a month's time, we which are. is the... 22nd, I think we went for. 22nd of October at 5 o'clock in the so afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon. Everybody that's got um, the answers correct and done everything 
perfectly will be put onto one of those it's a random independent generator. spinny wheel things that everybody uses. But we'll uses. do it live. But we'll do so it live. There is no yep. any issues whatsoever. Yep. Um, postage obviously will be paid for by ourselves. Is there anything else that they need to know, Andrew? No, except if you haven't subscribed already, do so. You do need to be a subscriber. That is one of the conditions. We don't want to just be either a bot or somebody like that. We wanted to make sure that it is somebody who's subscribed to our channel. And this is all because of yous. This is a huge thank you to each and every single one of you who have watched our videos, who have subscribed, who comment, who go on to any of our social media pages and interact with us. Even to the people who just give us a wave when they drive past us because you confused me for the whole entire day of who that person is. Oh, we get so frustrated, don't we? Somebody, <laughs> I mean, everybody waves in both homes, but sometimes you get people going, and it's like they know us or they know the van. And then you wait on your phone for somebody to say, oh, we've just seen you. And then they don't, and it's like, oh no. Who There's was nothing it? worse than somebody waves at you, and you, you, you can't picture yeah. where you know them from, or you just don't catch them enough to be able to actually know who they are. Yeah. But it is, like we said, this is a huge thank you to you. Yeah. Uh, so the closing date and time is that Sunday at midday. That will give us a chance to have a look at um, everybody that's entered. Make sure that it's all kosher and you're subscribed and you've got the answers right and everything like that. Gives it a few hours. To it does. Who's going to go on the wheel? Um, and we'll, get, we'll reveal the answers at 5 o'clock then, 22nd of October. We will, but... I will say it once more on one th and then that's it. Please, we will not be emailing you for anything. We will not contact anybody at all. All your information will be deleted straight afterwards. We will not be keeping any of that information. We will never contact you unless you are the winner and it will be an email just asking for your postal address. That will be it. So please, if anybody texts you, messages you, anything saying, that, you, that pretending to be us asking for anything, no, we will not be doing that whatsoever. And we won't be passing on any details no, to anybody. Won't. It will so literally it, be private, then deleted. Absolutely private, and as soon as the competition's over, all the data gets deleted. So there's no yes. worries about passing on emails to no, third parties no, or anything. We're nothing not, we're, like that. We're not into that at all. So no. your secret's safe with us. And if this is a success and it works really, really well, then we will do a Christmas one. So. Get liking, get sharing, get subscribing, doing your thing, and we will see you in our next video. From the NEC, most probably, so... Um, I think we are going to do lives at the NEC. Yeah, so check us out. Thank you. Thank you again. We'll see you soon. We will. Bye. Bye.